Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. We have got to sneak into this place. Um, knock on the door. They're scared of you. Be right there. Knock on the door again. again. Use invisibility. They can't see you. Open Whoa. the door and you can sneak in. Aha. fighting talk because well you'll see in a second mm. this is the room where the milkman was in his um, little grave or perhaps refrigerated by the look of it you look so peaceful in there I told you not to follow now you must die but that is the way of the rainbow squirt No milk for you! Whoa. Okay, psychic abilities you're gonna want. Telekinesis and shield. I'm gonna put shield on Q. And levitation on E in case I wanna move it that quicker. And that should do it. If you look at the milkman, it's blatantly void. Um, so she's got two attacks. She throws a cookie box and then she throws a sh shuriken like thing. She usually does it in that order, but if there's a few boxes she'll just keep throwing these shurikens. Um, when she moves, she restarts, starting with a box. So, box, shuriken, shield that, and the cookies. Um, throw the cookies back at her, and you'll hit her. You need to hit her four times. So, cookie box. Oh, she's moving straight away. Cookie box. Shield. And then throw it out. It's quite hard to actually hit her. It doesn't seem to work. I mean, that landed straight on the head. And it didn't seem to affect us. I think he really got to aim at her feet more than at her face. Okay, shield up. And then throw it out. See that? can't consistently hit, so I'm not sure why not. And there we go. Second hit. It's time for me to pluck out your eyes! Ha! You can! That is the purpose of the goblins! Fine! Then I'll do! Hope you can see it now. Because I can! <laughs> you can, huh? Well then. Let's abuse that little fact. You grab this. Again, this is like the helicopter helmet. So we can use clairvoyance when we're holding this item. And we can see through her eyes. And again, it's the same thing. It's exactly the same, it's just now you see from her perspective. And so you can see we've got cookie box. Shuriken badge thing. Then you got a chance to throw the cookies at her. I did it in two hits. That's, I've, I've never done it that easily before. What have you done? He wakes. The milkman. He's I am alive. the milkman. My milk is delicious. Alive. Rage. Let's go 
follow the movement. And um, since that's been the whole objective. Looks like we missed a bit of an epic milk. battle here. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. That's um that's some pretty enriched milk. Okay, I'll give you that. So we get knocked out of Boyd's mind. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Boyd? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? Boyd has no time for talking. It is time for the milk delivery. Stupid long loading screen, float crews flying about, or flows flying about, whatever. So, we can now get past the gate. Hey boy, why are you trying to burn down the asylum? I am the milkman. My employer has commissioned me to deliver this milk to whitewash what went on here. I make sure no evidence is left of anything except for milk. I cannot rest until I have made my final delivery. I cannot rest until I have made my final delivery. You heard it first here from the psycho's mouth. And we got a new area so we can grab things. Let's grab uh, levitation up and back to marksmanship because that's quite useful. Um, I'm trying to remember where things are in this area. Ah yes. You can actually jump to this from the floor. It's the last scavenger hunt item. So that's another four ranks we just earned. Get this card from up here. That caused me so much trouble. It's so obvious it's there, but I just couldn't get to it before. And I was jumping through it all the time. So, our first brain. Punch the jar to open it up. JT's brain? How'd this little doggy get out of the pen? Yeah, we get more health for uh, yes. rescuing brains. I got a brain! Finally! Now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Yes, you and Sasha. No sense of humor when you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? Speaking of al dente, I mean, I'm a student now, so I've been cooking a lot of pasta. And, um, I don't know why. I can cook pasta fine. I've cooked pasta at home for years. But I keep on doing it a little bit on don't the raw worry. side here. I'll put this one right next to Kitty's. I'm not sure if it's just, um, a different electric stove. I'm used to a gas hob. It's probably that. So we can smash this, get on through. And we got another card here, which I think is the last of the area. Yep, because I didn't pick it up before looking at the menu screen. I love that moon in the background. It's so artsy and stylized around here. And um, there's another brain up on the left here. Kitty, I think. Kitty's brain. You know, I hate to say it, but it is better groomed than the rest of the brains. So, um, yeah, and that's the mate. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make a girl so happy. Okay, she's standing in filth and talking to dead pot plants. That's a good Excuse sign. Excuse me, ma'am, but did you see a girl? You must be my new leading man. Aren't you handsome? But, my gracious, you're so young. Tell me why do they keep casting me with such mere babes? I guess that's the curse of having an eternally young face. Um, yeah, you're crazy. You crazy bitch. Um, here is a trophy. It's free pronged. Um, we're gonna need that. Let's grab it. Oh! 
You found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? Or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey! What? You're supposed to be dead! <gasps> ah! Creepy lady, creepy lady. Stranger danger, stranger danger. Okay, so, um... We've got to enter our mind. Uh, it's nice to know that we're meeting people who make Boyd look stable. But we'll have to do that next time, unless we're psychonauts. <laughs>